Get ready, because starting this Friday, April 28, a financial windfall is about to hit millions of seniors and disabled Americans across the nation. We're talking about a whopping $5,500 payment that will be deposited into the accounts of those receiving Social Security Supplemental Security Income, SS Social Security Disability Insurance and Veterans Affairs, via disability benefits. Welcome to Wealth Boss, your trusted source for the latest updates on Social Security and fourth stimulus checks tailored for American seniors, including SSI, SSDI and VIA recipients. I hope you are all doing well. Let's get right into it. Picture the joy and relief this money will bring to countless households struggling to make ends meet on fixed incomes. Imagine the heartwarming stories we'll hear from grateful seniors and veterans who can finally afford some much-needed expenses or even a special treat they've been putting off for far too long. But this isn't just a one-time payment. It's the culmination of a years-long legal battle that has finally forced the government to comply with a long-standing federal law. You see, back in the late 1960s, legislation was passed requiring the government to provide a modest $130 monthly supplemental income payment to all you. S. Citizens and permanent residents over the age of 65, this supplemental income provision SIP was meant to help seniors cover basic living expenses and keep up with rising costs. However, for over five decades, the federal government repeatedly postponed implementing these SIP payments, citing budgetary constraints as an excuse to kick the can down the road. That is, until a group of senior citizens and advocates decided enough was enough. In 2018, they filed a class action lawsuit against the government arguing that their legal right to these supplemental payments was being violated. After years of legal battles that escalated all the way to the Supreme Court, the plaintiffs emerged victorious in late 2022. The court sided with the seniors and ordered the government to finally implement the SIP payouts, starting with a retroactive lump sum payment to cover the years of owed back pay. According to the court order, this retroactive back pay covering the $130 monthly amounts owed all the way back to 2018 when the lawsuit was first filed, equals out to a one-time lump sum of $5,500 per qualifying senior over the age of 65. But that's not all. In addition to the lump sum, the government must also begin providing the recurring $130 monthly supplemental payment to eligible seniors starting in May 2023. This means that every month going forward, these seniors will receive an extra boost to their Social Security checks, helping to alleviate the financial strain of rising costs. Now, let's break down the specifics of who exactly qualifies for these $5,500 payments and the recurring monthly supplements. First up, Social Security Retirement Beneficiaries. If you are currently receiving Social Security retirement benefits and are 65 years of age or older as of the payment date, you likely qualify for the full $5,500 payment. However, there's an important caveat if you have additional sources of income on top of your Social Security, such as a pension, part-time work, investments, etc. There are income limits that could reduce your $5,500 payment amount or make you ineligible completely. If your total household income is above $150,000 per year as a single filer or $175,000 per year for couples filing jointly, you'll likely see reductions to your $5,500 payment amount. These reductions can increase the higher your income goes until eventually, those with very high incomes of over $200,000 per year may not qualify to receive any of this payment at all. Next. Let's talk about SSI and SSDI recipients. For those receiving supplemental security income, SSI, the rules are straightforward. As long as you've been receiving your SSI payments for at least 12 months as of this coming Friday's payment date, you should automatically receive the full $5,500 with no income limits or requirements around age or anything else. Similarly, for Social Security Disability Insurance, SSDI recipients, Anyone who has been receiving SSDI for over one year 
and is under the age of 65 can expect to receive the full $5,500 payment automatically. Once you hit age 65, though, it transitions to following the same rules as Social Security retirement beneficiaries, where outside income is more of a factor. The last major qualifying group covers disabled veterans receiving via disability benefits and compensation. Just like SSDI recipients, if you've been receiving VA disability payments for over one year, you should be fully eligible for the $5,500 payment regardless of age, with no income limits either. Now, let's address the elephant in the room, the massive cost and controversy surrounding these payments. According to cost estimates, over 40 million seniors could qualify for the CHI 1,500 payments under the age and income criteria, meaning a potential upfront cost to the federal government of over $220 billion just for the initial retroactive lump sum. Add to that the recurring monthly costs into the billions after that, and it's no wonder this entire situation has proven highly contentious within the government. Many lawmakers and officials have criticized these court rulings as judicial overreach, arguing that the original legislation was passed back in the 1960s under very different economic conditions and a much higher senior poverty rate that no longer reflects current reality. Opponents point out that today's seniors have far more resources and income streams compared to decades ago through high personal savings rates, widespread retirement and investment accounts, home equity, and other assets. They question whether it's really necessary or fair to provide even more government payouts on top of existing Social Security benefits when many seniors are relatively financially comfortable outside of low-income segments. On the other hand, proponents and senior advocacy groups have pushed back hard, arguing that rising costs for things like housing, health care, and prescriptions have actually made it more difficult for millions of seniors on fixed incomes to keep up not less. They've stressed that these payments are now legally required after the government has defied the law and denied seniors the income they were owed for over half a century. No matter which side of the debate you fall on, one thing is clear. If you are among those qualifying for these $5,500 payments starting this Friday, you'll want to take full advantage. For millions of seniors on fixed incomes, this could provide vital financial relief and much-needed breathing room. However, with any new government program rollout, there are expected to be complications, processing delays, and other issues. Not everyone who qualifies may get their payment right away on April 28. It may take weeks or even months for all of the eligible payouts to fully process. So patience and perseverance will be required. Keep a close eye on your bank accounts and any mail from the government and be prepared to go through appeals processes if you believe you qualified for all or part of the $5,500 but didn't receive your payment in the coming weeks and months. As we wrap up, let's reflect on the significance of this moment. For years, seniors and disabled Americans have been fighting for their rightful due. And now, after a long and arduous legal battle, justice has finally been served. These $5,500 payments and recurring monthly supplements represent more than just a financial boost. They symbolize the power of perseverance, the triumph of advocating for one's rights, and the reminder that no matter how long it takes, wrongs can be righted. So, to all the seniors and disabled veterans out there, this victory is for you. Whether you use this money to catch up on bills, stock up on groceries, or treat yourself to something special, know that it's well-deserved and hard-fought. And to those who may not qualify, remember that this is just the beginning a step towards a more equitable and just society where the needs of our most vulnerable citizens are prioritized and protected. As excitement builds around these $5,500 payments, it's important to understand the broader context and implications. This legal victory didn't happen in a vacuum. It's the culmination of decades of advocacy and perseverance from senior citizen groups and disability rights organizations. For too long, the government turned a blind eye to the financial struggles faced by millions of older Americans and those living with disabilities. Rising costs of living, coupled with fixed incomes, created an unsustainable reality where tough choices had to be made between necessities like food, housing, and health care. 
But these grassroots movements refused to be ignored. They rallied, they protested, they lobbied tirelessly to have their voices heard. And finally, after years of uphill battles in the courts, their efforts paid off in a monumental ruling that could change the landscape for generations to come. The impact of this $5,500 payment and recurring monthly supplement extends far beyond just putting some extra cash in people's pockets. It's a statement, a recognition that our society has a moral obligation to protect and support its most vulnerable members. It's an acknowledgement that seniors and the disabled deserve to live with dignity, free from the constant worry of how they'll afford basic necessities. And the ripple effects will be felt across communities nationwide. As millions of households gain increased financial security, local businesses and economies will see a much-needed boost. Money that would have otherwise gone towards essentials can now be reinvested into local goods and services, creating a positive feedback loop that benefits everyone.